Welcome back to my Freethinker React series. My name is Jeff from Freedom to Think Broadcast. Follow me on TikTok, Facebook, and Truth at F2T Broadcast. Today we're doing more Samson from Linas Blinas. Samson Birthday Bash, another political masterpiece. If I torture your name, you can tell me how to say it in the comments. I have absolutely no idea what this one is about. If you enjoy these videos, please like, subscribe, and comment what you'd like to see next. If I choose from your comment, I'll shout you out in the next video. Let's get into it. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. This is what this is about. That's awesome. Okay. They're following all the safety precautions. People are going to sporting events that are bigger than this. This is going to be safe. This is a sophisticated vaccinated crowd. <laughs> oh, this was the most condescending elitist snob rubbing in their face that there are two tiers as a caste system. It's a big party and you ain't in it that are bigger than this this is going to be safe this is a sophisticated vaccinated crowd and and this is just about optics it's not about safety <laughs> one hell of a party i wish i was there but with all this covid i bet you guys were scared well you probably followed every rule with all the activities you did that night i mean you probably kept six feet apart the whole time and you only took your mask off for pictures right they i mean they had a whole bunch of people get sick out of it even though they had like a hundred percent vaccination, supposedly. Not really. I'm pretty sure some people were there that weren't. And who cares? Because you can still pass it, you can still get it. It's outrageous. They just destroyed their entire narrative about everything to do with safety, everything to do with the fear around this virus with this birthday bash. And like Gavin Newsom, you know, going out and having his dinner with his people oh these people are such tools and i'm not a fan of 44 and he's been on this circuit going around basically saying that the internet needs to scrub people like me in order to ensure trust in institutions well buddy if the institutions didn't all suck people like me wouldn't have to come on here and expose all this stuff you did that night i mean you probably kept six feet apart the whole time and you only took your mask off for pictures right i bet you did i bet you took every precaution i bet you stopped the party every 20 minutes just to check everybody's temperature often i bet you did i bet everybody had to show the proof of their vax and if they didn't then they had to go home because obama would never approve of this crap uh i don't remember who it was but i i know for a fact they had someone go and perform at the party that was not vaccinated one second dude i can't even find anything on the internet with this it's just a bunch of people shilling and covering for him about how it wasn't a big deal and they took great precautions and sophisticated classy people but from the hill one source told axios um 475 guests and 200 staffers Meanwhile, we're like, no, you can't go to grandma's funeral. It's too dangerous. Had to show the proof of their vax, and if they didn't, then they had to go home because Obama would never approve of this crap. I bet all the servers and caterers had to wear gloves when they serve you your fave dessert. I really hope that you paid them first because they were risking their lives celebrating your date of birth. You said that you scaled it back because there's too much at stake. Yeah, I bet you scaled it back because y'all motherfuckers are a bunch of snakes. If I were to get a big group together, the media would put me through the shredder. I'd be responsible for everybody's death for the next six months. A super spreader. But yep, that's true. That's 100% true because they had a bunch of people get sick from that party and they just didn't say anything about it. They're like, oh, well, you know, small symptoms. So, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't matter because nowadays the severity of the crime and the severity of the illness is only reflected by the political benefit. If some dude who's the wrong race commits a crime, no one cares. And from the health benefit, 
you got all of these prime ministers, presidents, and politicians catching COVID for the third time, even though they're double vaxxed and boosted and boosted again. And they're like, oh, it's no big deal. You know, uh, that's kind of slight, slight symptoms because, you know, they're taking care of it. We just don't talk about it. But then you're like, oh, these children are at such high risk. We better get them extra shots. And you're like, they're not at high risk. And the shots don't seem to be stopping anything. So you're going to reduce, already reduce symptoms. None of this makes sense. None of it makes sense. And when you see stuff like this birthday party, you know that they know it doesn't make sense. It's just for show. Just about power. It would put me through the shredder I'd be responsible for everybody's death For the next six months A super spreader But Obama, don't be stupid, never This event was sophisticated This ain't no bean toss, beer chugging bullshit In the backyard listening to a playlist of country music You dumb, useless, stupid, small little measly runts We can party if we damn well please But you, not even once, don't think about it I love how he's going in on them Because that's exactly what this was It was, oh, we're the sophisticated, good people and we are above the rules that are set for you. That's, that's what I view as kind of the liberal elitist mentality where you have the rules for everybody, but you don't have them apply to you because you're so much smarter than everybody. So you're like, no, 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 the world would be best if we all did this. And by we, I mean you, not me, because you know I'm too smart so I don't need to follow by the we rules. I follow the me rules. And the me rules is I do whatever I want. I have absolute freedom. I use all the resources I want. I can go on yachts. I can go on helicopter rides, use as much carbon, eat as much steak and caviar, all that stuff. But the you, the we, is everybody else. And everybody else needs to suffer for the benefit of mankind. You see that a lot with the celebrities and this eco crap. And then with the COVID measures, they just couldn't help themselves. These people live at such a high standard of living that the we solutions that they forced everyone to do, they couldn't live up to them. So eventually they're just like, yeah, well, you need to be locked down, but I'm going on vacation in Florida. You need to be locked down, but I'm going to this restaurant with these other people. You need to wear a mask, but I'm not because, you know, I'm a clean, sophisticated person. That got old and people are pissed and they should be pissed because they're telling you you're second class citizen and we do whatever the hell we want. Oh. oh. Thank you, Samson. Just glad you made this one. He runs. We can party if we damn well please, but you, not even once, don't think about it. Matter of fact, it'd be better if you just didn't think at all. Now shut the f up and put your mask on before we have to get more deeply involved. We were outside, but under a tent. So technically that makes it inside, but it was still outside. You know what I meant, shut up. Whatever, you're never gonna hear the story from us. We'll just have Don Lemon and Chris Cuomo talk about Trump and how horrible he was. The media would take a dump in their britches if they caught wind the new Republican did this, and that just goes to show the double standards and the hypocrisies when it comes to this instance. That's true. You saw Republicans playing ball with all this garbage. They'd go to the meetings, they'd be wearing the stupid masks. They would, a lot of them, got the shots, you know, and. Like, they, they followed a lot of the rules. It's these Democrats who push the rules so hard who keep breaking them. Didn't you notice that? Isn't that weird? Because all the Republicans, like, you see Ron DeSantis walking around without a mask. He's telling everyone else, hey, you don't need to wear one. Like, if you totally want to wear one, you can wear it. But you don't have to, as he's not wearing one. He's not sitting there saying, hey, filthy peon, you stand over there, wear your mask. Do you have your vax card? How many are you up to date on the boosts? Do you have two boosts or one boost? Because it matters. But either way, stay over there, wash your hands, get away from me. Meanwhile, they're like, oh, actually, I forgot to go get my boost. So, I, you know, I just have the original and, you know, I'm, I don't need to wear a mask because I'm better than you. So that's the difference. Like, the, I mean, I, I don't like politicians generally. 
But it seems like the Republican ones set rules that apply to us and them because they're part of the we group. And then the Democrats are like, no, 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 we need the we to be like a really shitty lifestyle that's better for mankind. And then we're exempt from that. I'm not down with it. I don't like the caste system. I ain't a fucking slave. Oh, when the new Republican did this, and that just goes to show the double standards and the hypocrisies when it comes to this instance. Doesn't it just piss you off? What? They come and they cut your small business off. They grip their claws around and constrict till you ain't making shit. Then they tell you to suck it up and limp it off. Yes. Then they skip and hop into their private jets and fly to Barack's Island to thrive and rest, burning all that fuel into the sky while our fragile climate is in such a dire stretch. With all these dying people packed in the hospitals, I think you should feel a tad bit responsible. You could have probably killed so many friends of yours, you just added to the top of the toll. This is a good rant. It's a good rant. How many times have you seen these climate activists telling everyone you need an electric car, you need to ride your bike, you need to blah, 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 you need to, you need to, you need to, you need to, you need to. And then they're over there burning thousands of gallons of fuel for a weekend getaway. It's like a whole cul-de-sac's use for a whole year is how much they'll burn through for a little party. And then they tell you, you need to cut it down. Ugh. Ugh. Keep it cool, man. Just keep it cool. It's fine. It's fine. You feel a tad bit responsible. You could have probably killed so many friends of yours. You just added to the top of the toll. That's what you say to me when I walk into Kroger maskless. Why would I follow these rules that you yourself don't even practice? Perhaps if you stuck to your story, we wouldn't be so fucking disorderly. You say that it's dangerous and then you do shit like this and that's just what floors me. Well, you're my role model. You're the one I'm supposed to follow. So I'm gonna call everybody I know and throw a big ass party like there's no tomorrow. The Newsom way, the Obama way, like a Nancy Pelosi spa day. We're gonna rip the mask off and hug each other till we can't hold on any longer. Yay! It may not be sophisticated as yours, but I gotta work with what my pay can afford. I'm just taking orders from the people that matter, the powerful ones. This is straight from the source. I'm about to throw a fucking party. I heard that there's like a ninja variant coming or some shit. Of course, because we're ramping up towards November. So we gotta, we gotta lock the sheep away and uh, send out the mules. You know what I'm saying? So need to switch back to by mail, make it dangerous to be outside. I don't know. We, we just need to throw parties. Everyone needs to throw parties. Just let's go. I got natural immunity. Okay. And it sucked. It was two weeks of shittiness for me, but I'm good. I'm totally good. And so far, the best information out there says that if you got actual, legitimate, natural immunity, you have better, longer lasting, more robust, and better protection from variants because of the full spectrum of protection you get compared to just the one spike. I'm better off than anybody. That's just the way it is. I don't know. He created a reasonable doubt. He makes you sound like a stupid uh, science bitch. Yeah, that's good. Oh, oh my god. So I'm not scared of any variant. Whatever. No. There's not a single variant that's going to scare me. There's not a single variant that's going to send me running to go get additional protection. It ain't happening. Nope. Nope. Also, big win in Wisconsin. Those uh, drop boxes are illegal. And they were illegal. Work with what my pay can afford. I'm just taking orders from the people that matter, the powerful ones. This is straight from the source. Thanks, Obama. I get the message. Your actions spoke loud and clear. F the World Health Organization, the CDC, and Fauci. Here's the bottom line. All right. How long are we going to do this? It's all up to us, and it always has been. There really ain't nothing new to it. Our rights are being stripped. All you got to do is take a look around, and it's only going to get worse from here unless we as a whole put our foot down. It's a big club. And you ain't in it. Good for you, man. I definitely enjoyed that one. I'm freaking sick of the two tier system that we have. There's so much of a us versus them 
that's being shown because it's not about race. It's not about religion. It's about wealth. So all the shittiness that happens to people happens to the poor people. And they try and say that it's other things so that we'll fight amongst each other. And it's just stupid. Like slavery. It's like number one. Okay. Slavery had nothing to do with black people. Okay. It had to do with poor people or people who are vulnerable enough to be enslaved. In Africa, the white Europeans at the time, because there was no medication or treatments for malaria, they had like a one year life expectancy if they went into Africa. So they didn't. All of the Africans grabbed up the vulnerable and the poor and the weak, and then they brought them to the coast for sale. Okay. So the Europeans, they come up there, can't get this malaria. And they bought from the other Africans who gathered the slaves. And then when they brought them here, they were amongst the Irish slaves and there were Native American slaves and just whoever was available, whoever was vulnerable and weak and able to be enslaved. And there were black slave owners that owned thousands of slaves. There were thousands of black slave owners. The only reason I'm telling you that is all is just that there's not groups by any other measure than wealth. Okay? There's always been and probably always will be the people who are super wealthy trying to control the rest. Okay? And they just want us to hate each other, to fight each other over stupid things. So you got Karen yelling at you to put your mask on and show me your Vax card to go get groceries. And you're like, it doesn't stop anything. And, and look at Obama's party. They know, but you're still fighting with me. What the hell? This has been just an infuriating mess, the whole thing. And this video definitely highlighted some of the worst parts that we had to deal with. So good job, Samson. Birthday bash. Very solid. If you enjoy these videos, please like, subscribe, comment what you'd like to see next. If I pick from you, I'll shout you out in the next video. And listen, you guys can share my videos. You know, you can tell other people. I know they're reaction videos. So you may have like a bit of hesitation to share with your friends. It's like telling them you like fruity drinks and big girls, you know. But everyone does. So just share. Okay. It's okay. Just do it. I'll see you on the next one.